Hello everyone, welcome to our annual look at our Blu-ray collection. <sighs> our update. This gets you to ready? be yeah, this is I always say every year though. I don't know if we're gonna do it next year because it gets to be more and more unwieldy every year. But it's a lot. You wanna do it, so a couple years ago we like had it. like two. Yeah, because Blu-ray was a format that, you know, especially if you haven't watched this in a long time, that we didn't really get to until like much later. Like it wasn't really. Like, like five years ago. Yeah, because like because age-wise, also like we already had a huge movie collection of DVDs and VHS, and like Blu-ray was a lot of like don't rebuy the same movies all the time. So. But we but, like the combos. Yeah, so it's been yeah a lot of that. So start off with these kind of ones we have usually up as a display on the very top of our Blu-ray shelf. We have these from Mill Creek Entertainment, these oh, VHS. Oh, that's why you like them so much. Yeah, the Universal, a couple of different companies have done these. Oh. Uh, Universal and Mill Creek uh, are the main ones I've done, a couple of different ones, but uh, these VHS style releases, it looks like a VHS release, but it is a Blu-ray. And this is the first one I ever found, so I was bringing this one up because I paid less than a dollar because it was in the VHS bin because they thought it was a VHS tape. So I always remember that. The Breakfast Club. I don't Club. like these. I think they're ugly. I think it's interesting. They have a couple. They made way more of these. They only have a handful. They had a whole series of them. But I like them on top of the shelf with our, our sign. Uh, and then we have a Steven uh, Spielberg collection with Jaws, E.T., and Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And an Eddie Murphy collection with Trading Places, Coming to America, and The Golden Child. Never seen The Golden Child. The Golden Child, I think, is very underrated. It's kind of tonally... I feel like it's uh, like an Eddie Murphy, like Beverly Hills Cop style tone mixed with, um, I guess, like uh, Big Trouble in Little China. It's an interesting mix, but I always think that was a good one. And then rounding out the Eddie Murphy, the three movie collection, the Beverly Hills Cop 1, 2, and 3. And I'm curious to see that Beverly Hills Cop 4 that's coming out this summer. I don't know. It could be a, a disaster. It could be, be like interesting. Walkers and wheelchairs. Yeah, I don't know. So and old. then moving on to the first shelf, starting okay. with our Disney. Disney, we have Lady and the Tramp. This is the Diamond Edition. And this is the combo. Combo. Yep. Of it. Next, we have one that you like much more than I do Hunchback of Notre Dame. I love the, the It's not a perfect movie. They The gargoyles are annoying, and there are things that they disnified too much. But And that one has the sequel in it, which I watched once and I never watch again. No, but that's not. The Hunchback of Notre thing. Dame has. I don't like these this edition of Blu rays because they're the same size as DVDs. The Diamond Edition that Disney did? And this yeah. confuses me, and I yeah. don't like that. Yeah. Well, and it doesn't match up with the other Disney editions. But this is the Diamond Edition of Cinderella. Cinderella. Yeah. And then we have Peter Pan. I, get, I just don't like these these editions of it. It's yeah. just too. Blurry then DVD we have combo. actual That's, size. Yeah. Celebrating Mickey. Mm -hmm. This is the. Is this the? That is club? A, one of the. No, that one's not one of the Disney Club ones. Oh, it's just yellow. Just the yellow. Yeah, that yellow look looks. There's a bunch of different ones. This is the one that I like the best as far as a collection of really old Disney cartoons like Mickey. You know, focused oh, ones for me it's the silly symphonies yeah but All that day, one that day. there is no that one i can't believe that would i would love there's a blu-ray of the silly symphonies because even the dvd is very hard to find and well, it's i don't one, like those containers that well, they're in. and they're it, that release line is prone to disc rot which yeah, is manufacturing issues like so the metal yeah yeah we have snow white this is i don't know what edition this is oh the signature collection. signature collection because disney just can't every few themselves. years disney yeah has Although, a whole new series i feel like recently it's just been the ones that say like dvd on top. Yeah, the Walmart, Target, like very, just like, generic. We have a couple of those, I think, just DVD or just Blu-ray up top. And then we have, this is the Pinocchio Platinum Edition with a little bit of a lenticular cover, kind of. And these are just crazy thick, because they have so much in them. Yeah, I feel like they're pretty, though. Slip cover and... Disney just goes a little too, a little too much. This is the 70th anniversary edition of Dumbo, which is good to have because I'm sure they're going to change it soon. Probably. Uh, this is the signature. Plain... No, it's a signature oh, but collection. A signature anniversary and, uh, yeah. <laughs> edition of Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty. Like Some of the best artwork I feel like in a, in a Disney movie. I love the, the this is the one aesthetic. of my favorites. Yeah, I love the, this. Yeah, the Mondo Steel Book. This is a Mondo Steel Book. Jungle Book. And the Jungle Book. I think this is so beautiful. Do they make more of these for Disney? Oh, there's tons of them, but to I me they're not worth so the pretty. price. Because a lot of them, it's like $40, $50 plus for the empty steelbook. Well, and you got it's this at um, 
Goodwill, didn't you? Yeah, for like three dollars or whatever. So like, that's cool. I just but, yeah. I think these are so beautiful. Yeah. I love the steel books. They're beautiful. I just can't justify the price for just a steel book. And we have regular jungle regular. book. This is regular. There's yep. nothing. Yeah, there's no addition. No. Ooh, that's weird. It's regular, plain old DVD Blu-ray combo with the jungle book. And then I don't know why we have this because we don't need both. The 30th anniversary edition. Well, it's of actually I know you Fox hate I know you hate the second two. one. It's actually really hard only, to get just the Fox and the Hound and the one new edition. There's only one Fox and the Hound. Yeah, I yeah. love this movie. I won't watch the second one either, but I can't really. It's one. hard. It's hard to get just the, the first, first one. The first one is great. I yeah. love it. But we have a comp anniversary combo. One of my favorites as a baby Amanda, diamond edition of 101 Dalmatians. I love 101 Dalmatians. Fantastic. And then of course my boyfriend. Everyone's boyfriend if you're born. I feel like if you're a girl, I feel like yeah, born, every every girl of a certain age. The 40th the anniversary Fox. edition of Robin Hood. Mm -hmm. I every so often you hear about them making a, a new movie, and like, yeah. don't you dare. Yeah, a live action of this. Don't one, mess up I don't my think boyfriend. Work. One of my personal favorites. So you'll this see, you'll see like as much. Signature edition yeah. of Little, Little Mermaid. Mermaid. I feel like out of the like. Renaissance era ones. Yeah, the like, Renaissance era ones. This is. My least favorite. It's one of my favorites. I love that one. Still a really good one, yeah. but out of the amazing ones. Lion King, Diamond Edition. It's the chunky. Yes. Yeah, so because this has one. the Blu-ray, the DVD, and the 3D Blu-ray. Because we really need that. Yes. And then same as this. This is the Beauty and the Beast Diamond Edition. I love Beauty and the Beast. And there's always an extra disc on here because Disney puts a digital copy on a physical disc instead of a code. So this stupid. actually has like five discs in it with the special features and everything. This is the three. And then, I don't know why we have the signature 25th, 25th anniversary yes. edition because it's the Without same the thing. 3D. Not the 3D. Stefan's gotten a lot better with the millions of copies of things, yeah, but there's only certain movies. We do still have certain a million movies. copies of certain movies. And this is one of them too. Yes. This, this is, is my Latin, favorite Disney the movie. Mine is Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, but. yeah. That's I think Beauty and the Beast is the best Disney movie. Aladdin's my favorite. Aladdin's the first movie that I saw in movie theaters as a kid. And then this is one of the very few 4Ks that we yeah, have. Yeah, we'll have a lot of 4K. But it also has the Blu-ray and DVD? Mm -hmm. uh, no. No, just the, the 4K and regular Blu-ray. Just that. Yeah, actually I don't think I've ever seen... I'm sure they are out there. Let me know. I've never seen a release that has DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K, and digital, like, 4-pack thing. I've not seen that. Here's another one with the second movie yeah, that yeah. no one's ever going to watch. A lot of the straight to Pocahontas. VHS Disney stuff. Three disc special edition. Yeah, well, like doesn't the, have a doesn't like have a gem. Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic special edition of bed knobs and broomsticks. Great classic. So good. And she just is, died, didn't she? Uh, well, Angel Lansbury, and this is the. Uh, Angel Lansbury. This is the uh, oh, restored edition too, because some of the earlier home versions didn't were missing a song that was cut, and oh. then the, some of the newer ones have a restored song. Interesting. So. This is mystery in the mist edition, because that's cool. Got a unique edition. No, we don't the need great more. Great mouse detective. Great mouse detective. We don't need more edition names. That's yeah. Disney Disney, Disney, Disney comes up with so many. Oh. Platinum, silver, signature. One of my favorites, 35th anniversary edition of The Rescuers. Mm -hmm. One of the very few times where the sequel is also good. Yes. Not as good as the original, of course, but yeah, it's still good. It's still really yeah. good. I love, I love these movies. They're great. And then another one with a sequel that we're not gonna really watch. It's Mulan. The originals, classic. Special edition with the slipcover. The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. This is just the special edition of it. Ew. And then one of my favorites that you do not like. No. Tron special edition. Blu-ray DVD. One of the benefits of the new Tron, what come, well, now, well, the other new Tron legacy when it came out was that they started re-releasing Tron. Because Tron is actually somewhat rare on DVD for a little while. Oh, really? And, like the Laserdisc was the best way to watch it for a while. Hmm. And we got a Blu-ray DVD combo. And then one I like better, Tron Legacy, this particular cover with the 3D and everything, and they finally are officially doing a third Tron. I don't know if you read that. I'm not certain how it's going to be, because Jared Leto, I think, is the main character, and I don't like him, And but we'll see. I'm just happy that there's a possibility of another That's Tron. That's really weird. Because we need another Tron. Next two are ones that I didn't want to like, and I watched them thinking I was going to hate them, but I didn't. Yep. They're Maleficent 1 and 2. I actually really enjoyed them. I don't like Angelina Jolie, but I actually I really like Angelina Jolie. Everyone knows you like her. I have an Angelina nice. Jolie like collection. I so. know. 
But you liked her in this. You liked her in that. And then the next two are Disney yep, Movie Club. Disney yep. Movie Club yep. editions. Mm -hmm. The Parent Trap. And Honey I Shrank the Kids. Yep. Some classics. Stefan likes this one better than the nineties one. That's not even remotely close. Haley Mills, like that's classic what do you think? movie. That's I don't know. I I like them for different reasons. This one I Haley Mills I, like this a, one's definitely the better movie, yeah. but as a nineties kid, like, Sixties, like Haley Mills. Haley Mills is like a Disney queen. Like. And then this, oh my gosh! Yeah, Rick Moranis, we loved as a kid. Although Rick Moranis, like watching it as an adult, like what a horrible, mean character! Oh my gosh! Well, no, it's, it's as a kid, you think the, you think the neighbor is, is this so over, mean. yeah, and then you understand the neighbor more. Yeah, but as an adult. Rick Moranis' character is obnoxious as an adult. Oh my <laughs> gosh! The Santa Claus. This is an anniversary, just anniversary yeah. edition. Christmas classic that didn't need a bunch of. Awful sequels. And the TV series that yeah. was... Oh, and you know what else didn't need a sequel? sequel? Hocus Pocus. Yeah. Let me know what you thought of the sequel. We, I think we pretty much both agreed that was the worst movie we watched whatever year that came out. Was that two years ago? That was... That was horrendous. Terrible. Horrendous. That was upsetting. Enchanted. This was fantastic. I love Enchanted. I love how it they... Is great. Somehow made this work. Every, made yeah, fun of themselves, yeah. but in like a nice way. It That's was... what it was great. It's like it's a self parody in such a great way. Because like you think at first that another company would have done it to parody the the Disney, you know, the, but it was great. And I have a little chipmunk. He's good. It's great. But... This was something that my father told me I had to watch. And he was very serious. This was yeah. a very serious thing that I had to watch. Yeah. And eventually I did, and I liked it. It was Wally. Wally's great. Wally is just scary. The but... first Disney to have a Criterion because it's. Has some cultural significance. It's and terrifying. It's great. This is oh, we're going that one way, of my so. favorite of the the new generation of yeah. Pixar. Tangled. Yeah. I love Tangled. This was such a great, great, great movie. I really liked Luca. I don't know. We finally got because you're Italian. You finally got your Italian uh, mm, Italian Disney movie. Yeah. yeah. I I like the new era of like not princess movies. Yeah. The only thing I don't like is that I, I hate that Pixar CG art style. I, I I'm not a huge fan never, of it, but I will never like that. Like if I you can want, get used to it. It's fine. Like, it's not it's, it's fine, but like, like you look at like a frame of Luca. Like Luca is a great movie. I liked Luca as well, but visually, if you look at this and then you look at let's like Maleficent from like the original movie, like you look well, at Sleeping hand Beauty or like hand drawn oh my gosh. versus. It's a completely different thing, but yeah. I love. There's a couple of them. This one included mm -hmm. Coco. That the colors are super vibrant. I think Luca does a really yeah, good job yeah. and in a completely different way. But Coco doesn't. Uh, I just. This, Coco. Is, this is fantastic. I love this yeah. movie. Coco is one of the few modern Disney movies that I cried because like, it is emotionally yeah, like. Because it you're is a monster fantastic. if you don't cry. And yeah, yeah. Coco I thought Stefan is... didn't cry because he watched the wrong thing. That was a long story. That's long. But, but yeah, Coco, that was brilliant. Coco's but again, beautiful. this is a beautiful movie. If this had been done. With the hand drawn like animation, this could have been like an all time classic. It would have been better it's a great hand drawn, movie, but, but I can enjoy it for what it is. Yeah. You didn't want to watch this. I thought I was gonna hate this movie, and I like it I more than you did. I do it not like this as much you as you, but it's I a great movie. I love the high fashion and everything. It was great, um, but the Blu-ray so DVD weird. combo, Ruella, I love the the red case that goes with it. This was fantastic. I really hope they don't do a sequel to this, though, because I feel like it's not going to work. No, you can't really, really do a sequel. It really would not work. Yeah. Well, because then it's 101 Dalmatians. 101 Dalmatians, and I feel like they already did a live-action remake of that, and this Which is Which is weird, because yeah. they're, like, siblings. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I always forget this is Disney. Nightmare Before Christmas. It's well, like a it's weird thing. it's distributed now by Disney. Like, it's not It's a like, weird it's, thing to me that yeah. this is Disney. There's a lot of things now weird. that aren't really a Disney well, movie, but they're Studio distributed. Ghibli's. Yeah, they're distributed by Disney and, like, I don't know. But, yeah, Nightmare Before Christmas, all-time classic, you know. Every goth girl's dream boyfriend. Okay. I think it's a little overrated, but this, that's just uh, my yeah, opinion. it's the king of Spencer's gifts. Now we're getting into something that's not Disney, yeah. but should be Disney? Don Bluth. Don Bluth. It's Land Before Time. Only this one. Only this one. The millions of sequels. I don't need Land Before I've Time seen 23. I don't. All of them. Because I have a much no. younger cousin who I used to babysit and he's seen, he's watched all of them. I've seen all of them. And they're fine for like a, the TV level, like you know, straight to VHS. Like they're fine for that. No. But this is, yeah, it's an untouchable classic. There's one. Yeah. There's only one. Oh, yeah. yeah. And this is it. Yeah. This is, ugh. Oh. Beautiful. It's wonderful. Yeah, speaking of movies that still make me cry, Land Four Times. Oh, yeah, how could you emotional. not cry? And then we have a three pack of Don Bluths. We have mm -hmm. Anastasia, Ferngully, and Thumbelina. This is also called Avatar, 
<laughs> in case you're wondering. I just love that one scene in the first Avatar that is directly from Ferngully. You literally like, just plagiarized the exact, like the whole, yeah, the whole sequence. The whole yeah, thing. They're yeah. just tiny. Yeah, yeah. Now they're big and blue. It, it's just, but, no. No, I... <laughs> love Ferngully. I like Ferngully better than Avatar. I think it's much more well, they're, creative. They're entirely different movies. So those are not like... Yeah, but he just plagiarized but it. But Avatar doesn't have Tim Curry, and Ferngully is Tim Curry, so... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then the one I wasn't allowed to watch as a child, All Dogs Go to Heaven. Speaking of Tim Curry, yeah, Peng, uh, and Pebble and the Pebble Penguin, 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 which I like. I feel like this is forgotten. It's just, yeah, I don't know. That one's just This okay. one's weird, but All Dogs Go to Heaven, I was not allowed yeah. to watch this. My mother would not let me go near it, and that was probably for the best, because I Cause cried. You, you were an emotional hysterically. child obsessed with dogs. Like, you could not handle watching All Dogs Go to Heaven. I could not. You can't. This one is amazing, and I feel like no one ever talks about it. Rock a doodle. doodle. I like this, yeah. and I don't like country music at all. Yeah. But for some reason, I agree. I like it's, this, yeah. and I don't know There's why. There's this kind of country slash Elvis vibe to him that neither of us like, but for some reason but we both like the movie. It's it's just a charming movie. For the, some only, reason. the only thing that a rewatch because I had not this was recently added to our collection because this has gotten harder to find. Rock a doodle just yeah. stumbling upon. That I hadn't watched it since I was a little kid. As an adult rewatching it, I forgot how weird and disjointed the live action parts are yeah. in comparison. They just don't it work as well. As a kid, you're more forgiving of yeah. it. This is one that, if it was voiced differently, yeah. would have been so good. But it's so great. I feel like it's incredibly underrated. Pogo and the two strings. Well. I mean, I understand why. It's not. Some of the voice casting is really weird. Yeah. And. It's it's a really good story. Well, and visually, and this is visually, one of the few times. This is one of the few times that Pixar esque animation, that CG animation, actually, well, I didn't have a problem with. Like it, it was. And this is Leica, enough. and I forget they do something else that I, I like too. Yeah. It's one of those weird studios, but yeah. that was great. It was very creative. Such an fun. amazing movie. I just wish that there was some different voice casting. Yeah. Some more authentic, because there's some, like George Takei's in this. There's some yeah. really cool people. This is for you, because I yeah. don't care. Because you didn't grow up with all the Christmas stuff. I grew up with one. Christmas classics. This is one of those, I forget what this version's called, but it's like this gift set. We have the complete thing of every there's single like rank and bass. There's three of those gift set ones. Yeah, there's a million. We have every rank and bass one on the big DVD set, but on Blu-ray, this... Including mine, this, yeah, finally. This has Frosty, a snowman, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and Santa Claus is coming to town with the bonus Frosty Returns. No one cares about that. Uh, but three of the classics that I watch literally every Christmas since I was born... I think Rudolph is fine. The rest so of them are... Nearly 40 years of every year. There's only one. Every year, once a year. There's then, only one. Then, well, you gotta pick this up, because this is, like, your childhood. This is my childhood. Yeah. I wanted to marry somebody. Oh. <laughs> you just wanted to live with Miss Honey. I wanted to I wanted to live with Miss Honey. Oh, my gosh. Matilda. I love this. And Danny DeVito. What a guy. Yeah. What a guy. Oh He's God. great. This is... This is a Stefan movie. Oh my gosh, one of my... I don't dislike this movie. I just yeah, don't like but it. But I am like, I've been obsessed with this movie with Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory with Gene Wilder since I was a little kid. Like, I'm have not... you read the book? Oh yeah, well, I was a okay. kid. Bunch of I've times. never read yeah, the book. Yeah, and the sequel and everything, and like it's yeah. But it, this is this is like the this is perfection. Like the, ever since like I was a little little kid, I've been more than like like a couple is movies. Is he your in Miss here. Honey? You wanted to like live with Gene Wilder? I might not Gene Wilder. I might not with Willy Wonka. With Willy Wonka. I'm not sure I'd survive my childhood, but I mean that sounds like fun. <laughs> but oh my gosh, I have always to me like this is one of the that's one of the rare cases that I will call a movie perfect, like just perfect. Uh, and this that's the for, I forgot to even say this is the the 4K and Blu-ray combo. More recently, the big shimmery covers, a bunch of special features, and then this is a cool addition with the Wonka I bar. I like that bar. I, I, I like just think one. this is one of the few times. Like, a lot of times I try to just go for like the standard casing. Like, sometimes the special packaging is weird and doesn't fit on the shelf. Like, this is one of the few times where I'm like, this is kind of cool. It's a unique, it's simple, it's just a cardboard casing. But the Wonka bar, open it up, and it's the Blu-ray DVD combo with a special features disc. And I just thought that was kind of cool. Where's the Johnny Depp version? Don't even talk to me about I that. feel like the other, the new one that came out is in between. I feel like you might see that. I might check it out. As far, that's like a I don't streaming like slash Oompa rental. Oompa. But he it's makes not, me angry. But I don't even, I know going I in, it's like not going to be, but no, the giant, don't even talk about the giant Depp one. That is my, that is a, a genuinely the, my most hated movie. Oh my goodness. I You're so emotional. Movie. I hate that movie. You know what's a good movie? Detective Pikachu. That this worked out. such a cute movie. So much better than I thought going into it. 
This is fun. It's it's fantastic, and they did a really good job. Yeah. I still think Danny DeVito would have been a better Detective Pikachu. <laughs> Ever since someone did that, yeah. It would have been amazing. Oh my god. But that's okay. Ryan Reynolds is great, and he sold the like father loving. Oh father yeah, no, no, he was really he well. was fine, but yeah. Danny DeVito, yeah. come on. Yeah. What's his name? Is it Justice Smith? Is that his yeah, name? yeah, he's he's, he's great. He's been pretty good in that. Too. He's, he's, he's been good in a bunch of stuff. He's been really good. Uh, we have next the Sonic One and Two collection, two movie collection. I enjoyed these. You like those a lot more than me. I enjoyed these a lot. Those I thought they were, and decent, I think but... I think we would have liked them a lot more as children. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I feel like for for all these in the Mario movie that just came out, you have to look at it as a kid. through the eyes of a child. Through yeah, the eyes yeah. of a kid, I think. Yeah. These weren't made for us. We're, yeah. They're, they're secondary. But, it's, but it's, it works still because we were the generation oh, yeah. that grew up with the Sega Genesis. So, like, there is some, like... But yeah, I was concerned about Robotnik, good. but yeah. he actually... They were good, yeah. And I'm hoping in the Third next one... Third movie should be interesting. I don't yeah. think he's going to be in the next one. I don't yeah. know what they're going to do. Know. But I almost wish there weren't people in it. We've talked well, about that. especially the second one. First one, I first one I disagree. The first one, I think the people work. The real life elements work. The second one, every time it focused on the people, it was extra. It, was, it slowed the whole movie down. But yeah, here's a movie. Pretty good. Here's a movie. It's Shrek. Which has turned into like a whole. There are Shrek people. That's like their their the thing. Anniversary the whole edition. Franchise. I don't know what happened with Shrek. Yeah. Why it became a ne thing. Yeah, neither of us care about anything beyond the first one. But the first no, one was No, you know what I care about? Well, I think Shrek as far as the, the musical. Movies, yeah. This is one of the very few times where a musical, like Broadway production, got like an actual media copy. Yeah, it just makes sense. I like, wish that they had those. It really pisses me off because yeah. there's so many amazing, like Broadway and yeah. West you, End. You're like, like a theater nut, and you went to Broadway a bunch of times in and New York, and you... it just sucks that you can never see. Yeah. those actors or see their performances yeah. ever again. And when you get something, it's more like like we had the Les Mis anniversary thing, but it's more like they come yeah. out and do. A clips song. they do yeah. famous songs it's not the whole production like you don't get yeah, yeah it, it makes me sad yeah but th what doesn't make me sad muppet treasure island this is my favorite muppet movie and by a great lot. Muppet caper. this is a well, weird pairing i don't know why great muppet this is a weird pairing. pairing as far this as is like the uh, pirates yeah. and pigs collection i don't know why it's because like muppet caper i could see pairing with like uh like i don't know some some of the other old ones like i don't know like, yeah it seems it weird. seems like a yeah. very weird yeah weird but, collection but, but it's but still yeah no treasure island Muppet treasure island which is the paper. best of the muppet movies the second best we're still waiting for no. a blu-ray release of Muppet they christmas carol that is out. the whole thing there's the whole, because it's thing. Not whole thing because it is good. on blu-ray but i refuse to buy it because it's not complete but you know what they've never touched because they can't ever touch yeah. is tim curry yeah you can't you just can't steelbook of home alone one of the great christmas do you classics. consider that a christmas movie because i don't how? What planet are you living on? Are you just trying to get people to talk? <laughs> you just you're just trying to create chaos. But yeah, this is again one of those Christmas traditions. You don't this is one part where we differ. We have so much in common, but one big way that we differ is I have a set of movies and TV shows that I will watch every December for Christmas and you want nothing to do with it. Yes. I don't but think it's a bad movie, my, but I'm not uh, classic. Classic. I could never see that again and I'd be fine. Speaking of classics, we have I was the generation, the age group, group of Were turtles. You? Turtles. Were you? I am all about TMNT, the original movie. This blew my mind. The original live action movie, and this was the perfect bridge between the mm -hmm. style of the cartoon and the style of the comics. It was like a, in the middle ground, mm -hmm. so it appealed to everyone. So that was like that was perfect. Yeah, they um, were like a, just ahead great. of their time. Yeah, so with what good. They, they accomplished. And then those. two, Secret of the Us. Secret of the Us always seems to be the more popular one. I don't like it as much because it's not as much of a bridge. Again, this was in between the tone of the comics and the show. This leaned much more towards the younger kid demographic and was kind of more like the show. So I still love it. It's a classic movie, but not quite as good. Third one, we don't have on Blu-ray. We have it on the DVD set. It was decent and I loved it as a kid but I don't revisit it as often. Like that one I probably watch once every 10 years versus like these two, I probably watch like close to once a year. So big difference with those. Why is this next one next to that? Oh, uh, who knows? The family film selection, but this is beautiful. I love this steel book. Yeah, this, this is... one, uh, one of the few ones I have in a protective thing here is beautiful steel book. Uh, Wizard I love of the Oz. puppies. Still one of the greatest movies of all time. I mean, the thirties in general is one of my top three decades for movies. And this is like one of the the, the kings of Hollywood no. history. No. Really you know is. what is the king of Hollywood history? 
You know what is better than Wizard of Oz? It's Hook. This is a perfect movie except for one thing. And it's this this picture right here. What? What's the one thing? It's that thing right there. Oh, and you don't like Julia Roberts. I, I do know. not like yeah. her. She and ruins she and ruins don't like my Julie mood. Roberts, yeah. But everything but her. I still think Cindy Lauper would have been a better choice. She would have been great. But amazing. Amazing. It's like That is one of the most kind of classic from our childhood movies. Yeah. This Hook is like is, yeah, my favorite thing ever. Meaningful. And yeah. it's so nostalgic and yeah. like there's all the emotions and the casting, other than her, yeah. perfect. Then one of my childhood favorites I still love, Annie. The 80s version of Annie, this is just perfect. I mean, Annie's been around for close to a century now as a character. Close to but, a century? Yeah. Hasn't has it been over a century? What, what year we're in now? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking what year we're in now. But yeah, close, right around a century uh, for the character of Annie. And this is my favorite iteration of Annie. I just love this one. It's not for everyone. Like some people think Carol Burnett is a little over the top as Miss Hannigan. Carol Burnett's over the top? Yeah. Really? I loved it. And just uh, Tim Curry is is perfect in there rooster the, and just uh, it's all great. that rooster is much more violent yes. that rooster is scary it just i don't know the whole thing just he's works. much more dangerous Ever, this, than I, this I is to me this is like the perfect version of annie what's your favorite annie yeah there's so I many like, different versions i don't know the 90s one i like too <sighs> okay. but this one i but think this is objectively the better one yeah that is just that i have is more of a connection brilliant. to the other stuck one stuck on my mind forever and what's this yeah you don't know, with the babysitter Adventures and babysitting. The uh, 25th anniversary edition? 25th. Yep. You know, it's been 25 years. Well, it's been a lot more than that now. But 25th anniversary edition, 1987. So, it's same age as, as me. You. Same age as me. So, the, the, the uh, 37th anniversary edition. Yeah. But, yeah, Adventures and Babysitting, one of the all time fun, just fun 80s classics. I love this. It's, it's a great just movie. like off the wall. 